The Labour leader was also asked why he attended an anti-racism rally over the weekend, which critics say was closely linked with the Socialist Workers' Party. So what is the SWP? It was founded as the Socialist Review Group in 1950. The party describes itself as a revolutionary socialist group. They've been involved in various campaigns over the years. For example, former leading members of the SWP helped to set up the Stop the War Coalition to campaign against the invasion of Iraq in 2003. But in 2013, the SWP was mired in controversy because it was claimed that they had mishandled sexual assault allegations against an individual who was, at the time, one of their members. Well, we did invite the SWP onto the programme, but they declined. They also told us that Stand Up to Racism is not a front organisation for the SWP. The Anti-Nazi League, disbanded in the 80s, were quickly reformed as a rival group to tap into the growing anti-racist movement. Its public face consists of anti-apartheid campaigners like the MP Peter Hain, and they've claimed support from celebrities such as Lenny Henry and Stephen Fry. But other anti-racists believe it's a recruiting front for the Trotskyite Socialist Workers' Party, the SWP. More militant than the ARA, it fights racism by confronting the BNP on the streets. Its two main organisers, Julie Waterson and Paul Holbra, are both SWP activists. The only reason the, the ANL was reformed um, was because suddenly the IRA had appeared, it got a lot of attention, a lot of support, and the old SWP suddenly felt, well, I mean, let's revive the ANL, it's a way of bringing people into our party and so on. And I think it was rather cynical. Right against fascism and hope not hate are taxpayer funded, they are trade union funded and they're headed up by very senior Labour Party figures and I'm perfectly happy for them to come to my meetings and, and have, have an argument with me uh, but it's not so much fun when they're banging you over head with banners. 
Well, that was Nigel Farage there, and joining us now is Wayman Bennett, Joint National Secretary of Unite Against Fascism, and Suzanne Evans, UKIP's Communities Spokesperson. Welcome to both of you. Wayman, have any of your members acted violently or threateningly to Mr Farage when he's appeared in public? Absolutely, that's not the case. We have questioned him, which is unfortunately the reality. If you stand as a major politician and want to win elections, the, the public and the electorate are allowed to question you. Thank you. 